New tonight, researchers at UC San Diego are warning against the sale of unregulated so-called magic mushrooms. A new study finds potentially dangerous hallucinogenic mushrooms that are different than the most common type of psychedelic mushrooms, but are being marketed as the same thing. CBS 8's Alex Lai talked with researchers involved in the study and explains the dangerous differences. The UC San Diego study finds a growing industry for psilocybin mushrooms due to emerging clinical research. However, some people are trying to capitalize on the psychedelic experiences by selling a different type of mushroom, which is more dangerous. I think they're just trying to kind of go off of the popularity of psilocybin and then market their mushroom products. When you think of magic mushrooms, you're probably thinking of psilocybin mushrooms. Researchers say a toxic mushroom called Amanita muscaria is being marketed as magic mushrooms, but it could have the opposite effects. Nora Satabaldiva is a co-author of the study. The manufacturers of these products are marketing it as, you know, a treatment for depression and anxiety, which um, are health claims that are not you know, validated in, in, by any research. Both mushrooms have psychotropic effects like hallucinations and space distortion, but they work in different ways. In 2017, the FDA designated psilocybin as a breakthrough therapy and last year loosened restrictions to allow research. However, researchers say Amanita muscaria is a depressant and works similar to alcohol and benzodiazepines. Whereas psilocybin is an antidepressant, and that's why it's currently being investigated for the treatment of, um, you know, mental health disorders. Psilocybin mushrooms are used in clinical studies as a possible treatment for depression. It's a Schedule One drug and is illegal to use outside of studies. On the other hand, Amanita muscaria has minimal regulation and is not on a controlled substance list. The study also notes it can be more toxic than fentanyl, cocaine, and PCP. There have been adverse effects from like, people being hospitalized and um, dying from just consuming the mushrooms alone. The authors have several recommendations, one putting Amanita muscaria on the controlled substance list or adding common sense precautions, the same required for recreational marijuana, such as childproof packaging and age restrictions. A lot of the times we don't really know what's in them. They're not tested for safety because there are no regulations for them or there's no really system, you know, for testing them or making sure they're safe. The authors of the study also say people should do research and know the two mushrooms look different. They also want to see mental health professionals help their patients distinguish between psilocybin and Amanita muscaria. Alex Lai, CBS 8.